In this video, we're going to be looking at Hulk's skins in Marvel's Avengers, specifically all of his unique skin models and any recolors that are references to things from the comics. This video is part of a series of videos looking at the different costumes in this game. I've already covered some of the other characters, so if you like this sort of thing, then subscribe, because I will eventually get to everyone. To be completely honest, I'm not the biggest Hulk fan, so long as he's big and green, I don't really care too much what he looks like. So with that being said, you might think that this will be a short video since there won't be much to say, but if you've seen the video's runtime, then you know there's actually quite a bit to talk about. Before we start though, a word from our sponsor. FlexiSpot is a company that offers a variety of standing desks. They were kind enough to send me one, and it's pretty amazing. The specific desk I have is the 48 by 24 bamboo desk with a black frame. The bamboo top is durable and environmentally friendly. But if you prefer something else, then that's okay, because you can choose from a variety of tops, frames, and desk sizes to suit your personal wants and needs. I think a lot of people's biggest concern with a standing desk is that you have to stand while using it. But that's not necessarily true. With its three-stage electric dual motors, this desk height can be easily adjusted. So you can use this desk at a standing height, but you can also use it while sitting down. Up to three specific heights can be saved to these three buttons, so you can use those to quickly switch between your preferred heights. I can also personally assure you that the desk is stable at any height. There's no need to worry about that. A standing desk from FlexiSpot is a great choice for those who work from home. It's convenient, allowing you to stay active and move around the house without having to get in or out of a chair. I personally spend a lot of time at my desk editing videos, surfing the web, or gaming. And I definitely spend too much time sitting down. I tend to slouch a lot and get too comfortable in my chair, which, aside from the bad posture it gives me as I permanently damage the shape of my spine, it also makes me really unproductive. So I find that it's actually helpful to stand up every now and then, which is something you can do easily with this desk. So if you like what you see, and you probably do, then go to the link in the description and get your own FlexiSpot desk today. Let's start with the iconic suit, Hulk's canonical main appearance within this game's world. He's big and green, so what's the problem? Well, there are two things that I think hold back this design for Hulk. The first and most important is that I don't think his physique is that great. If you've seen my other videos covering this game, then I'm sure you're sick of me complaining about this, but the characters in this game just aren't built very well. The Hulk's entire superpower is that he's really muscular. He's supposed to be pure physical power, the strongest one there is, but he doesn't really look like that here. He's a little flabby, a little doughy, like he stops at Burger King before every mission. I mean, he doesn't even really have a six pack, it's kind of there, but not really. And I understand the reason he most likely looks like this is due to this game's insistence on remaining as faithful to reality as possible. See, if you look at real life strongmen, power lifters, then you can see that they have a healthy amount of body fat on them. This is because unlike bodybuilders who build their physique for the sake of looking good, power lifters build their bodies to be able to lift as much as possible. The physique of a bodybuilder may look better, but the diet and lifestyle needed to maintain the super shredded physiques they have for competitions is incredibly strict. It's something that's impossible to maintain for long periods of time. So I understand that they most likely based Hulk's body type off of real world power lifters because those are the strongest people that exist within our world. The issue with that is that the Hulk isn't real. Shackling his design to the constraints of the real world misses the point of the character. The Hulk is supposed to look unnatural. He's supposed to be sort of monstrous. He's supposed to be unrealistic. That's why my personal favorite look for Hulk in adaptations is his appearance from the 2008 Incredible Hulk movie. In that movie, the Hulk is so muscular that it looks like it would be painful just to be him. But here in this game, Hulk's physique is just sort of okay. And it's this physique that he'll have in all the other skins. Unlike some of the other characters that got updated models, Hulk is stuck looking like this. When I was looking through all of Hulk's skins in this game, I kept asking myself why I wasn't that enthused about any of them, and I think this is a big part of why. Next, we have our second and much smaller problem, which is his hair. Hulk's hair in this game is actually brown. You can see this most clearly in the loading screen where they show a super close-up of his face. And I know what some of you are going to say, Ah, oh, you're being so nitpicky. Ah, oh, who cares what color his hair is? OMG, a small detail. Who cares? Doesn't matter. And look, I get it. I get it. It is a small thing, I understand. But the thing with established characters like these is that they are supposed to look a certain way. They're supposed to have certain characteristics that define their appearance. 
so when you change them, even if it's minor, you may end up with a character that doesn't look right. People love to dunk on this game's version of the Avengers by saying that they look like stunt doubles, or the Great Value Avengers, or any other kind of insult you want to throw to say that these guys don't look like the real deal. I think something like Hulk's hair color is a part of that. It's supposed to be black, or dark green, like it is sometimes in the books. It's not a huge problem with this skin specifically, but it's still worth mentioning because many of Hulk's other skins reuse the same hair. In fact, outside of the cell shaded skin we'll get to later, there's only one skin in the game that has black hair. Also, I don't really love the style of it. It's a little too... neat. And something that I think is really funny is that in the splash screen that appears when you boot up the game, Hulk's hair is different. It's black and messier. So it looks like someone who worked on this game actually agrees with me. To bring this all together, I'd give this outfit a 7. It's fine. Not bad, but it's not peak either. There are a few recolors of this suit to cover, so let's start with Big Green. This is clearly a reference to Hulk's classic appearance in the comic books, with bright green skin and purple pants. Personally, I think the green skin is a bit too bright and saturated, but I do understand that a lot of people probably like this. It's with this costume that I think the problem with his brown hair starts to become more apparent. See, in the comics, Hulk's hair is typically colored either black or green, and there's a reason for this. The artist didn't just pick a random color out of a hat. Black is a very neutral color, so it goes well with anything, and green matches the color of Hulk's skin. So here, I think the brown hair doesn't match Hulk's bright green skin. It looks weird, but yeah, this one's also a 7. The monster inside skin is a reference to the Grey Hulk. In his first appearance in the comics, Hulk was originally gray. They changed his skin color to green shortly after, I think because it was cheaper to print, but don't quote me on that, and then sometime later they retconned it so that the gray version of Hulk was a separate personality inside of Bruce Banner that manifested in the real world as a gray Hulk. So anyway, the costume here is, uh, not great. The first thing is that his skin isn't even gray. It's a weird light bluish color. This is especially odd considering that there are multiple gray-skinned Hulk outfits in this game that are actually gray. This is the only one that isn't. And he's got purple pants here too, which I don't love. Gray Hulk has had purple pants in the comics before, but usually Grey Hulk is shown in blue pants. I think this is mostly to separate him from the Green Hulk, but I also think it just looks better. And I gotta mention it here too, but his hair is brown. I think black hair would look a lot better with the gray skin. So this one I'd say is like a 5. It's not awful, I guess, but I do think that every color here could be better. The blue hue outfit is a reference to the Cosmic Hulk. In Marvel Comics, there's this thing called the Enigma Force. I think it's also called the Unipower sometimes as well. Anyway, it's this cosmic force that empowers people in times of crisis. And when the person gets the power, they become Captain Universe. I'm not an expert on this thing, but I'll put some text on screen later with the correct information of how it works for those that are interested. If you're a huge Spider-Man fan, then you've probably heard of this thing before, because it's the same power that created the cosmic Spider-Man suit. So in the comics, the Hulk briefly became the wielder of the Unipower and became a Cosmic Hulk. And this version of the suit is pretty close to its source material. The only thing they've really added was a large amount of white dots all over his skin. I think these are supposed to look like stars, which is something that the Captain Universe look often has, but I don't like it that much here. I think it looks like he's covered in dandruff. Maybe if these dots were animated so that his skin looked like a swirling body of space, then that could have been really cool, but I don't know. I'm not a fan. I also wonder if maybe these white dots were instead a misinterpretation of this panel where Hulk's out in the snow, and maybe they misinterpreted this as his skin having white specks. I can't say for sure, I'm not accusing them of anything, just wondering. Anyway, this one's fine I guess, I'd give it a 7. Next we have the broken skin. This is the appearance Hulk has after the 5 year time skip at the beginning of the story. So this is another one of those skins that I understand is supposed to give the character an unflattering appearance because it's from a specific part of the story. I understand that. But just because it looks bad on purpose doesn't mean that it's not bad looking. The big thing this costume does to show that Hulk is in a bad place is discolor some of his skin. I understand their intention, but man did they go way too far with this. I don't even understand what these discolored areas are. Like, are these bruises? Does he have a skin disease? What even is this? And why is it on so much of his body? But it's not just the skin color that's different. Earlier, I said that Hulk's physique doesn't change for any of his other skins. That was a partial lie. See, he doesn't get any better physiques, but he does get a worse one. If you look at him closely in the skin, you can tell that he lost what little of a six pack he had. He's also got a full beard, and look, I, I've seen Hulk with a beard before. I think it can look cool. 
But again, his hair is brown here. Now he's got this full brown beard with a ton of beige skin, and he just doesn't look like the Hulk. He looks like a big guy who's trying to cover his skin condition with green paint and not doing a good job with it. To pump the brakes on the negativity for a second, I do like his hairstyle more here. It's messier and more wild, which I think looks better. And the purple wraps around his wrists that are remnants of Banner's purple shirt is pretty cool. I think it's a fun way to add a bit more purple to the Hulk. But aside from that, I think this costume is awful. I understand that it plays a role in the story, but it still looks bad, and I guarantee that most people will never use this outfit once they're done with the campaign. 2 out of 10. Also, real quick, I just wanted to mention that for this skin, if you look at the character selection screen, the preview image for this skin doesn't actually have the beard, it's just Hulk's normal face. So, I, I don't know, maybe they decided to add the beard later? It, it looks weird. I noticed it because I, I was looking for the skin so I could take a, a picture of it, and I couldn't find it, and it's because he doesn't have the beard in the preview image. Uh, not, not really a knock against the skin, I guess, just something I thought was interesting. A recolor this skin has, called Fractured, isn't something from the books, but this has to be a reference to the Smurfs, right? I mean, the colors are exact. This has to be intentional. Am I crazy? There are a lot of recolors of this skin that have tribal body paint. These war paint skins aren't unique models, they're recolors. It's just that there's so many of these that I have to mention them. As far as I know, none of these are references to things from the books. During the House of M event, Hulk had tribal markings on him, and he was bald, but none of these really look like that. This black one with white markings is called Possessed, so maybe that's a reference to Venom? I don't know, really, I have no idea. I'm not a fan of any of these, I'm not even gonna write them, I just felt like I needed to acknowledge them. The unbroken skin is Hulk's appearance in the story after Banner shaves. It's pretty much just the broken skin without the wrist wraps and beard. I say pretty much because his skin's discoloration is slightly different, but outside of that, yeah, it's the same thing. I see no reason to use this outfit once the campaign's credits roll. 2 out of 10. The Stark Tech costume is what Hulk wears at the end of the campaign when the Avengers launch their final assault on MODOK. It's fine. I'm not one for techie Hulk outfits, but I think this one looks okay. I think the reason why I sort of like this one is that unlike the rest of the cast Stark Tech outfits that are just their normal outfits with Iron Man stuff bolted onto them, this one feels like it's its own unique thing. But like I said, I'm not a fan of techie Hulk outfits because he's the Hulk. He doesn't need any of this tech stuff. This outfit is sort of similar to the indestructible Hulk look from the comics, but I'm not sure if this was intentional or simply a coincidence. 7 out of 10. The athletic skin is my personal favorite look for Hulk in this game. It's the one I have equipped on him. I think it's a nice simple skin that incorporates the purple pants in a way that makes sense. I think these rings that cut through the legs with a second shade of purple are kind of unnecessary, but it's still cool. I'll give this one an 8. The wrestler skin is built off the athletic skin, using the same pants and adding a top to it to make it a wrestling leotard. So to start with, I don't like that the outfit is green. Hulk's skin is green, so you have to make his clothes a separate color to stand out. They sort of do that by adding some blue to the outfit, but it's still too much green. I really feel like the green part should have been purple. His name printed on the front could be green, though. Something else about this costume is the number on the back. I get it, haha, funny reference, Hulk's first appearance was in 1962, but from what I know about wrestling, which admittedly is not a lot since I'm a shut-in nerd, but from what I know and have researched online, wrestling uniforms don't have these numbers on the back. The whole point of numbers on the back of sports jerseys is so that the audience can tell the different players apart from the other members of their team, but wrestling isn't a team sport, so they don't have these numbers. So while I do appreciate the fun reference, it's also not actually faithful to the type of outfit it's supposed to be. I'd give this one a 6. It's not bad, but it had the potential to be a lot better. The workout skin is another one that's built off the athletic skin. This time, he's got a watch, a wristband, a headband, and no hair. So what's the implication here? Did he work out so hard his hair fell out? I just really don't understand why he's bald. Cause look, Hulk has been bald in the books before, but I don't think it was ever because he started working out. I'm tempted to give this one a question mark out of 10 because I'm so confused by it, but I'll give it a 5. The undefeated skin is based off the look that Hulk had in the Ultimate Hulk vs Wolverine comic. If you're wondering why he has this outfit, or why him and Wolverine are fighting, it's a long story. To try and summarize it, uh, Nick Fury gets Wolverine to track Hulk down and kill him because they think the Hulk is too dangerous to be left alive, which is true in the Ultimate Universe since Ultimate Hulk is way different than his standard Marvel counterpart. When Wolverine finds him, Hulk is in Tibet, you know, trying to find inner peace and all that, and then they fight. 
That's a massive oversimplification, but I really enjoy the story. It was just so wacky and weird. Also, it was written by Damon Lindelof, who was kind of a big-time Hollywood screenwriter and producer. Little fun fact there. So despite the fact that I actually really like this story, I don't care for the skin at all in this game. I was looking at it and I was trying to figure out why I don't like it that much, and I think if you look at the image from the comic books that I've placed next to it, then you can probably see why. The comic version is way more muscular, I mean just look at those veins, his body is almost grotesque. And the wraps on his midsection are more intricate and he's got more beads around his neck. So when you put these two side by side, the game version just looks like half-hearted cosplay. It's an okay adaptation, I guess, but it's not great. 6 out of 10. The Serenity outfit is a monk-looking skin that I also think is just okay. I think it's probably one of Hulk's most distinct costumes in this game, but I personally don't care for it. 6 out of 10. The Strange But True skin is based off one issue in the comics where Hulk is possessed by some demon from another dimension. So this skin is cell shaded to emulate the coloration he had in that story. It looks cool, I do like it, I just question if it's appropriate. See, the vibe I got when I read that story for this video is that Hulk is supposed to look like a dark, empty husk, so I'm not sure if giving him this bright white glow was the best way to interpret the costume. Maybe I'm wrong though. This is also the only skin in the game that has the classic Hulk hairstyle with hair only on the top of his head. I think they needed to put a bit more hair on the top because it looks too short and small. So this is definitely one of the more fun and inventive skins, and though I'm only going to give it an 8, I can see this being higher for some people. The Doc Green skin is based on a relatively recent story where the Hulk's mind was enhanced with extremists and he became super smart. He started calling himself Doc Green and went around removing the powers of other Gamma based characters like Red Hulk. And I think the reason the Doc Green persona went away is that the extremists, like, degraded over time. So Hulk went back to being normal Hulk after a while. It was weird. Anyway, so from the neck down, this suit is pretty accurate to his appearance in the comic books. But they didn't even try to replicate the hairstyle he had in the books. While Doc Green didn't always have a beard, he did consistently have a mohawk. And his hair was consistently colored green. They did not try to do any of that. I'll give this one a 6. It's almost there. If only Crystal Dynamics wasn't allergic to effort, then this could have been something. The Breakthrough skin is based off the typical ripped shirt look Hulk has when he transforms. This one's kind of cool, but it would have been way cooler if they didn't use the beat up body from the Unbroken skin as a base. It's less noticeable here, but there are still parts of his body that are discolored, and as I said before, he's less muscular. So I'll give this one a 6. It so easily could have been better. There are actually a lot of variations of the skin with the ripped shirt. Not simple recolors, no. There are several costumes that add one or two different things to the suit that technically make it a unique model. But the changes are so slight, it, it, it bothers me. Like, why did they even make any of these? To start with, we have Brawler, which adds a necklace and a wristband. That's it. 4 out of 10. Throwback has more necklaces and flip-flops, 4 out of 10. Tropical has a lay and flip-flops, 5 out of 10. And finally, we have Wild West. Out of all of these, I think this is probably the best. The cowboy hat and belt buckle are really the only additions to the skin, but the cowboy vibe is kind of funny. I give it a 6. So to summarize all of these, I just have to say that this is so lazy. I know making entirely new skin models is costly in terms of money and time, but just imagine if all of these were entirely unique skins built from the ground up. A tropical outfit with funny sunglasses and swim trunks. A cowboy outfit that was actually a cowboy outfit and not a glorified recolor of a hat. If only. The Joe Fixit skin is probably one of the Hulk's most well-known alternative looks. The Grey Hulk persona that I mentioned earlier went out to Las Vegas and worked at a nightclub. That's where he was given the Joe Fixit name, and that's the name that has pretty much become the definitive name for the Grey Hulk. This costume is really good. It's pretty much exactly what Joe Fixit looks like. So the rating I'm going to give this costume will probably seem low for some people. I understand that for a lot of folks this thing is probably a 10, but it's not for me. I think the big reason I don't like this skin, or any of the non-green skinned Hulks in this game, is that most of Hulk's effects and gameplay will still be green. So if I were to use the skin, nearly every time I attack, a bunch of green effects would shoot out of him and it wouldn't look right. To me anyway. I understand this is very much a personal gripe, but I have to mention it. Also, I'm just not the biggest fan of Joe Fixit. I think he's a great character, real funny, but the green guy's just my guy, you know? So I'm giving the suit an 8 as well. The Knuckles skin is built off the Joe Fixit skin, only being different from the waist up. So he's got a wife beater, no hair, a bracelet, and some rings on his hand. It's alright. Kind of a thug vibe to it. Not my thing, but it's kind of funny at least. 6 out of 10. Cabana is just a Knuckles skin with a hat. 
What do you want me to say? 6 out of 10. The bunnies and bandolier skin is based off a moment from the comics when Hulk was the Professor Hulk. Professor Hulk is the persona that was the basis for the Smart Hulk character in the MCU. In this particular moment from the comics, he had some bunny slippers on and carried comically large guns. Unfortunately, the bunny slippers were only around for one panel. The big problem with this skin is that, once again, they refuse to change Hulk's hair. The dark green hair of shaved sides is so crucial to the Professor Hulk look that it's just not the same without it. Outside of that, the skin's pretty good. I think the bunny slippers are funny. I like how he has the big gun on the back. If only they had tried a bit more, you know? 7 out of 10. The Maestro is an evil future version of the Hulk who is wildly intelligent and completely nuts. The Maestro character actually shows up in this game as a boss in the Hawkeye DLC operation. Why is an evil version of the Hulk the villain of Hawkeye's story, you might ask? Who knows? Who could possibly know what Crystal Dynamics was ever thinking when they did anything with this game? Anyway, back to the skin itself. It's alright. It's cool that you have essentially a playable boss character. I do have issues with it though. His metal wristbands have a seam line in them? I don't know, I guess I always assumed that these were separate metal bands he had on, but it looks like one solid piece that breaks apart in the middle? This is a personal thing I guess, but I don't like that. I also don't like how his skin color is the exact same as the normal Hulk. See, Maestro is typically colored a different shade of green compared to Hulk. This is mostly done so you can tell the two apart at a glance, but I also think it's to show how much older and withered Maestro is. Giving him this faded, almost sickly shade of green really sets him apart as the bad future version of Hulk, and not just Hulk with a white beard. I'll give this one a 7. It's neat, but I'll probably never wear it myself. The Monster Heart skin is based off the World Breaker version of Hulk. The strongest version of Hulk I think we've ever seen so far, strong enough to shake a continent just by taking a step. With this skin, they've made certain parts of his body glow, instead of his entire body like in the books. Maybe they thought a glowing Hulk wouldn't be interesting enough as a skin? The look they've gone with here isn't that great though. If the glowing parts were animated, and they moved around and made it look like his body was pulsating with power, then that could have looked really cool, especially since they've already done something like that. There's a recolor of the athletic skin called Terrigen Charge that has animated veins with energy flowing through them. If they had done something like that for this skin, then it probably could have looked really cool. But they didn't, so it honestly looks unfinished, like a fan-made texture or something. This one I'd say is like a 5. It's not that great. The 1 million BC skin is based off the Hulk analog character from the 1 million BC Avengers. This isn't actually Bruce Banner, or even a gamma-powered character. Instead, it's a human who's been empowered by the Star Brand. From what I understand, the Star Brand is basically a planet's self-defense system that picks a person and gives them immense power to protect the planet. This costume is fun because it's different. They've even given him a different hairpiece, though I wonder if it's reused from Winter Soldier. Like I said before, it bothers me that the visual effects for Hulk are still green, so using the skin doesn't look right in combat, but it's still cool, an 8 out of 10. The Gladiator skin is based off Hulk's appearance in the Planet Hulk storyline. In a nutshell, several of Earth's smartest heroes like Iron Man and Mr. Fantastic decided it would be a good idea to shoot Hulk into space so that he wouldn't cause any more damage, but the rocket they put him in landed on Sakaar instead of the peaceful planet they intended for him, so Hulk became a gladiatorial slave and wore this. This skin's pretty good, among his best, I'd say. I like that there's a lot of red throughout the outfit, I think that's cool. I like that he has a sword on his back. Changing the red plume on his helmet into a piece of metal is a certified Crystal Dynamics arbitrary change made for no reason whatsoever. I don't dislike it, it's just an odd choice. The biggest thing that holds me back from loving this is the omission of the metal sleeve. To me, that's the coolest part of the outfit, and it's not here. He has brown leather armor on his arm, which is fine. The suit for me is personally an 8, but I can definitely see this being a lot higher for people. The King Hulk skin is based off the look Hulk had during the World War Hulk story. In that story, Hulk was mad about Earth's hero shooting him into space, and came back to get some revenge. I really don't like this game's interpretation of this costume. They gave him this dorky cape that he did not wear in the comics. I think they heard that the costume was a king outfit, so they gave him a cape to make him look fancy, like a king. But that completely misunderstands the point of this costume. In the books, he was going to war. He wasn't doing any diplomacy or anything. He wasn't trying to look fancy. That's why he didn't have a cape. Unlike the gladiator skin, this one actually includes the metal sleeve. But they made it all rusted and scratched up. <sighs> Can I just have what I want, man? Is it really so hard to make a shiny metal sleeve? And they've also removed the silver studs from his boots, harness, and belt. I think that's a shame since I thought those looked cool and they matched the shiny metal arm. This is one of those suits that's okay if you ignore the source material. I'll, I'll give it a 6. 
Uh, although personally, I really want to give it like a three because mm. there's also a version of the skin that is just slightly not a recolor. It's pretty much the same thing, but he's bald. I I really I don't know, but here it is. I'm not gonna rate it or anything, but it is technically unique, so I feel like I have to acknowledge it. The next skin is Hulk's gladiator outfit from Thor Ragnarok. This costume is based off the same thing that the gladiator suit is based off of, so it's pretty much impossible not to compare the two. This one has a cool design as well. I like the bits of purple throughout the costume. I like that they actually changed Hulk's skin tone to be closer to his appearance in the movie. And there is the novelty that this is the outfit from the movie. I can't really say which is better, I like both of them pretty much equally. This one's also an 8. Why not a 10? because they still didn't include the metal arm. Hulk's outfit from Endgame is just alright. The major differences between the suit here in the game and its appearance in the movie is Hulk's proportions. In the movie, Smart Hulk has very human proportions, but Game Hulk here is rocking those gorilla proportions, so he's got really short stubby legs that make the outfit look a little strange. And once again, they didn't change his hair. So despite Mark Ruffalo's Hulk having a very distinct hairstyle in that movie, Hulk has his default hair option here. The outfit itself is fine, I'm not a fan of it, I didn't like it much in the movie, and I don't like it much here. Overall, it's just fine. I'd give it like a 7. Those are all of Hulk's skins, but there's one other character design we have to go over for this to be complete. Bruce Banner. Bruce is the alter ego of the Hulk, after all. Can't forget about him. Even outside the story, he'll still be in the hub areas, so you'll still see him throughout the game. Banner's design in this game is fine enough, mostly because it is nearly a carbon copy of Mark Ruffalo's version of Banner from the first Avengers movie. I really think it was a mistake for them to do this. Like I said before, people like to call these characters knockoffs, and when this version of Banner literally looks like a stunt double of the guy from the movies, how could people not say that about the characters? It's especially funny because they already had a good Bruce Banner model in this game. George Tarleton. Tarleton's the guy who becomes MODOK, and his appearance when he was normal is far closer to what Banner looks like in the comics. So I think if they had taken Tarleton's model and softened some of his features, recolored his clothes, and given him round glasses, then they would have had a really good Bruce Banner design. This one here is fine. In a vacuum, I'd probably give it a 7, but since it is so derivative of the film version, I have to knock it down to like a 5. Overall, I think Hulk's costumes suffer from two large issues. The first is that, as I said before, his physique isn't very good, so a lot of his different outfits don't look that great because they're on a body that doesn't look that great. And the second issue is a supreme lack of effort. So many of Hulk's different outfits are slight variations on the same thing, and even when they do go out of their way to make a more unique outfit, they'll still skimp on it by not changing his hair. I've once again made a tier list of all his outfits in this game, link in the description as usual. But before we close out, I want to do something a little different. See, I get a lot of comments saying stuff like, Oh, you're so negative, you don't like anything. Which I think begs the question of what I would have liked to have seen instead. What costumes could they have put in that would actually make me a bit positive? Well, here are the top 5 different looks for Hulk that I would have liked to have seen. Number 5, a better character model. This is really just beating a dead horse at this point, but I wish Hulk's body was more impressive and that he had better hair. Number 4, the Abomination. I don't really care if it's the comic version, the movie version, or even the one for this game. I just think it would be cool to play as Abomination. Maestro is already playable, so something like this isn't that different. Number 3, Movie Hulk. I know some of you might be confused by this since you'd think that adapting one of Hulk's looks from the movies would just be giving him different pants, but I think if they change his body and hair to closely resemble Hulk's model in the movies, you could actually have a very distinct Hulk skin. Obviously, I think that the 2008 Incredible Hulk movie version of Hulk looks super cool and distinct, so that would be my personal pick, but really any of the movie Hulk designs would be cool to see accurately recreated here. Number 2, Hulkbuster. The Hulkbuster armor has been an alternate skin for Hulk in video games before, so I think it would be cool to see that again here. I know that some people will complain, say that this wouldn't make any sense since the skins in this game have to be alternate looks of this character and not a separate character, and that it wouldn't fit the story of this world or whatever. First of all, alternate skins should be non-canon anyway, so I literally do not care at all if an alternate skin breaks canon or whatever. I know that this game made it abundantly clear that all the skins are canon, but I think that was such a stupid decision, limiting the designs they could do by restricting them to the world they created. So yeah, whatever, break canon, I don't care. Secondly, this game has already broken the rule that the alternate skins have to be the same character. The 1 million BC star brand is not Bruce Banner, he's a completely different guy. But even then, Bruce Banner did wear the Hulkbuster in the Infinity War movie, so you could just use that one. Number 1, Devil Hulk. Devil Hulk is the main persona in control of the Hulk in the Immortal Hulk comic. 
So I know some of you might be confused by this, because doesn't Hulk look the same in Immortal Hulk? Well yes, on the outside, the Devil Hulk persona looks like normal Hulk. But within Banner's mind, Devil Hulk looks like this. This guy would be awesome to play as. Imagine playing with your friends and they're Captain America and Thor, and then you pull up with this demonic dragon dude? That would be so cool, man. So yeah, that's it for this one. Next is probably gonna be Black Panther. He had the second highest amount of votes. I'm gonna ask again, you know, which character do you wanna see next? But you know, there's no rush. I'm gonna cover all of them. Now that I've done Hulk, I'm officially halfway through this game's cast. That's six characters down, six to go. So really, I just want to say thank you. You know, thank you for watching this kind of stuff. Thanks for sticking with me. I want to thank FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. So don't forget to click the link in the description and take a look at their stuff. Um, so, you know, continue to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll continue to make stuff. See you next time.